So on the episode of this vlog today, I'm going to you'll be getting clip by clip. Number one, when you are traveling and you want to carry some luggage, it's very important because we've been hearing cases of luggages missing and there. So I'm just going to give you a quick clips on how you can avoid your luggages getting missing at the missing at the airport. <laughs> Make sure that all your luggages has the same tally. What do I mean by tally? Now, when you are leaving your country, um, you try and get a piece of clothes, a piece of clothes that you can use to identify your luggage. That means those clothes you have to cut it in pieces. Okay, cut them in pieces and put it on the tip of the clothes of the bag, so that anywhere your clothes, uh, your bag is coming from, you'll be able to size and see that. Ha. Huh, Okay, that is my bag coming. In that way, you'll be able to identify. Sorry, the background knowledge. I'm going out, so I just let me quickly do this. So wherever you see your bag, you'll be able to identify that. Ha, that is my bag coming. And when, number two, when they are wrapping your luggage, that is if you choose to wrap your bag, it is important for you to make sure that after wrapping it with that nylon or a nylon or cellophane, you see that your clothes that you wrapped. Try and bore a hole through the nylon and bring out the tip of that cloth. Sometimes you... Put a cloth or a piece of cloth, fine, right, fine, on the back. But when they finish wrapping, the cloth will be hidden inside the nylon. And you won't be able to see it from afar. Not until it gets close to you. Even sometimes when it gets close to you, you might not be able to see it. So it is very important for you to make sure that you put a piece of um boy and bring out that pieces of nine of your, your clothes so that it to be highly visible number three there's something that's always happening in the airports now for those of us that pay for extra luggage extra person do you know that where that your extra luggage parcel is coming out from would not be the same place other luggages are coming out from do you know that I guess you really, I bet you really never knew about that. Yes. For my own case, my extra luggage, the bar that I paid for extra luggage, didn't come out on the same um, line with other baggage, other bags that are coming out. So I was like looking for it. I, I've not seen this extra bag. I've not seen this. I was waiting for it for like 30 minutes until I went to add one of the, um, um, what they call them, officials there. And he said, oh, there's another place entirely. So if you get, if you paid for extra luggage, for those of you that paid for extra luggage, there's a high chances that the place the bag will come out from will be different. There was a name they called that place, but pardon me, I can't remember. So ask any of the officials you see in the, uh, um, um, when you've gotten to your country, the area where they're packing your luggage, where you're picking your bags, ask any of the officials there where that there's an extra bag that you've not seen. That is to show you where the extra bag luggage uh, parcel is coming out from. They are going to show you. I was busy looking for my bag. I never knew that it was even that's been somewhere else waiting for me. I am like four ladies like that we're looking for a bag. Not until we discovered it in, an, in separate places where the extra people that paid for extra luggage, their luggage are coming out from. I hope you you get this point. No, now it is very important. So at least might be applicable to men. Because most of our men sometimes don't really remember how many bags they came. Especially if it's their wife that packed their luggages for them. Please know the number of your bags and count them. You get to count them. Then it is very important for you before boarding, before taking your uh, bus or your sorry, your flight. If it's possible for you, if your house is close by to the airport, you can just quickly pop in and ask what are their what are their procedures for extra luggages? But if not, you can just call in to ask. Oh, sorry. But if not, you could just call and ask, or you check their parcel, um, their their bag, um, the number of uh, kgs they usually carry. Some people carry thirty two kg, some people have seven twenty three kg, depending. But for the airline I use, Egypt Airline, the standard procedure of the bags is twenty three kg. Sorry, manage it, okay? I'll clean it. So their, uh, their standard procedure is 23 kg. But I paid for an extra luggage of $200. So you can do the conversion. That is because my extra luggage could not spread around the other part. So they told me that 
what I should have I would have done was to spread the suggested to me then that I should spread the extra luggage to other items to get to like 28, 27, 28 kg. But my extra luggage was so extra luggage that even when I spread it the other to the other 20, 24, 28, 27, 28 kg, I still have excess in that bag. So I didn't have a choice than to pay that $200. That is for Egypt Airline. I don't know for other airline, but if you're fortunate enough to use, to use Egypt Airline and you're watching this video, you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky I'm giving you the tips. So that is point number four. I told you this vlog is going to be very short because I'm on my way out. So guys, I hope I've been able to help someone, people that have been trying to travel to, the, to locate to the United Kingdom, even if it's not United Kingdom. I keep saying that can be any other country. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next vlog. Love you all. Bye.